Houston Astros took game three. It is now two games to one. Rangers in front as we get ready for game four. The 2023 American League Championship Series on FS1 presented by Lone Depot. For the second game in a row, Dusty Baker changes things up after the three-hit game for Mauricio Dubon. He bats second with a veteran on the mound here, 32-year-old Andrew Heaney, who is the first of likely many pitchers for Texas tonight. First man that he faces, of course, is Jose Altuve. Hitters beware. Is one after Altuve. Hit sharply down the line and a fair ball. Ricochet has gone into no man's land there. And Altuve turns into second with a leadoff double. He had an 0 for 17 going into his second at bat last night when he crushed the home run. That is his third hit since. This is flipped into shallow center field in front of Tavares at base hit. Altuve had to make sure that it would drop. He moves up 90 feet. Back-to-back -back hits to open the game for the Astros. Bregman flies the ball to right center field. Tavares on the move. It's over his head and bounces to the wall. Altuve's in to score. Here comes Dubon. Bregman for third. Goes offline. It's a triple. And it's two to nothing, Houston, just like that. Immediately. Infield's pulled in, playing good on Alvarez to pull. He spanks one into center field and continues his incredible postseason, scoring Alex Bregman from third, and it's three to nothing, ten pitches into the game. Jose Abreu. Tapper up along first. Hyam will throw him out. Up the second goes Alvarez. And finally the first out for Heaney. Well, here's I mean the game's gone so fast. 3-2. Bounce back to Heaney. But Alvarez to the bag and lobs it over the first two out. Well, John, you were saying before the game that this Astros lineup. He has walked McCormick, and the eighth man of the inning comes to the plate. And the second pitcher of the inning is going to come into the game. Nibble on both sides, change speeds. He's got quality breaking balls, good change up to an inning that scored some runs. Playoff pitch, runners go. Baltimore chop. Corey Seager will have to hurry. No way! Wow, he made it close with a bare hand pickup, but Pena runs well and the bases are loaded. Nowhere to put the nine hitter. 3 2. Got him with a fastball to finish off the first. The Astros bat around in the first inning and score three times. Trying to get this series even at two games apiece. The Rangers come to bat. Simeon Seeger Carter at the top. And it's Garcia Garber and Heim. Lowe had a couple of hits yesterday. Young had a couple home runs. And then Leody Tavares bats ninth in the center field. On the mound for the Astros. 28-year-old from Mexico, Jose Urquidy. Urquidy most of the year struggled. Timing has been great of late. He may have found his command in fastball, but he's going to try to mix it up. He's got good breaking balls and an exceptional changeup. That's a long shot to center field, but it's right at Dubon for the first out. The 1-0 from Urquidy. Poke down the left field line. On comes McCormick. He's got a ring. Two out. Right about the one second mark, which he's coming close <laughs> every time. Pop fly, shallow center field. Jeremy Pena camps under it. Jose Arquiti follows the three run top of the first with a 1 2 3 bottom half. Another 0 2. It's a fastball that's punched through the right side and a base hit on an 0 2 pitch. And I just don't understand that. I'm trying to throw the ball in. Good lead for Altuve. He's not going. Oh, no, no, no. Altuve was running, but he can coast into second. And Bregman's been on both times. On this 1-0 pitch, Alvarez got jammed. The one to the second. Simeon to the back. Off the line, score for two. Now they say that he's safe. Ball wasn't hit hard enough. Simeon tried to make an incredible double play turn, throw off balance. But I'm going to tell you something. Chops this one to Seager at short. He'll feed it on to Simeon and Jack. The three for the Astros in the second. Or missing location. 2 2. It is drilled down the line. And it's fair. It's gone. It is home run. Adolis Garcia.
Third of the postseason for Garcia. The heartbeat of these Texas Rangers giving him some life. Fastballs by you. Fastballs up. His 3-1. Spins away. Barber takes the walk. Another look at Garcia's this one one. Time lots of ball to center field. No big deal for Dubon. There's the first out. But at least now on this one one pitch. Low. Sends one down the line. Peeling. The corner is over. It's a fair ball. And it bounces into the corner. On his way to second with a double is low. It's kind of a chip shot down there. Tying running scoring position. Here it comes. Towering fly ball to left field. McCormick drifted back on it. It's going to be plenty deep enough to bring home the runner from third. 3-2 game as Young delivers with a sacrifice fly. See, that may not go down in any scorebook as a great at-bat, but that was a great at-bat. It was essential they got the run in. Breaker, then change. And another change up to strike him out to finish off this inning. Rangers get off the map, begins with a leadoff home run from Adonis Garcia, his third of the postseason. They get another on a sacrifice fly from Young. We get a tight one, three to two in game four. A chance to catch part of that. Here's the tapper along third, backhand Young, chucks it across in time. Wow, what a play that was. That had every every bounce to not go the Rangers way, but nothing doing so far. How about a one, two, three, third on a pitcher? In on him with this fastball. Room for a player this time. The first down. Goes after the first one. Drills a high fly ball. Left center field. This game is tied. <laughs> Adjustment made and game tied. 3 3 in the third. One time big leaguer with the Mariners. Now Carter with a boot shot into no man's land. Pena can't get there. Carter with a single. That's through the left side. Base hit for Garcia. The Dolan's is two for two. And the Rangers have to go ahead and run in scoring position. And I'd be interested to see what Garver does. He takes a lot of first pitches. If there's a time to come out of that game plan and look to explode on the first pitch, this is it. Tie game, first and second one away. He does go after the first pitch, a roller to third. Bateman guns to second one, and a teammate to first, a double play. One pitch and two outs for Ryan Stanek. Maldonado leads up the fourth and takes ball four. Lead off walk to the nine hitter and table set for the big dogs. On 3-1, Altuve ball takes ball four. That is back-to-back -back walks to open the inning for Houston. Three home run game, and part of a four straight AB homer route. That is a base hit to right field from Dubon, and the bases are loaded. Another 2-2. Got him! Bottom falls out of a changeup. What a time for Dan Dunning to get a rare strikeout. That sure was an unbelievable strikeout and a good pitch. Really wanted, wanted it, right? Good call. But you can't stay there as proof of yesterday. They went in there one too many times and that kind of breaking the game open single with two outs. It's the ninth pitch from Bradford. Alvarez cranks one in the air, center field. Back goes Tavares onto the track. Just enough room. That close to a grand slam. Astros settle for the lead on a sacrifice fly from Alvarez. Hammered the left center field. Way back there. It is gone. Second deck, Jose Abreu.
Tucker lifts a fly ball to center field, but missed the barrel. And center field, Tavares has it. Well, they settled for a sacrifice fly from Yordan Alvarez, but no worries. There's the man after him. That there is protection. That there is a bomb. A three-run home run from Jose Abreu. He takes over for the Astros, his third outing of this postseason. One run and two innings in the division series. It's a chase and a high fastball. Two up and two down. One, two, three, fourth inning for Hunter Brown. Back-to-back -back K's to finish it off. Well, because the Astros have really put pressure three of the first four innings, getting a leadoff hitter, now Texas has to play a perfect game. This is happening when your team is rolled into a six in a row. Trent looking for one, two, three, fifth, and he's got it against the bottom of the Houston lineup. We're halfway home in game four, seven, three, Astros in front. Two under Tavares. Here's a catch. Man, he's able to get two and swat in the center field for a leadoff base hit. Ron Trollman and gunning back in. Texas beats everybody else. Here's Simeon off the end of the bat, sinking into right, down in front of Tucker. Back to back hits, to open the fifth. How so? Cricket inning. Hmm. The cricket inning, the numbers you can put up and how quick. Hit hard the first and a play, and it is safe. That close to a double play. Also that close to an extra base hit down the line. Wow, I'm just telling you right now, I have to. And I mean, that is a, that could be an inning saving play. He just missed the for tag. The, for the Rangers, yeah. That would have been two outs and a rally. They are going to challenge. And the strings don't count. No, but the question is going to be whether he got the batting glove that was sticking out of his back pocket. After review, the call on the field is overturned. The runner is out. What? Hit the batting glove. I'm telling you, when I saw it, when I saw it uh, slow down, the batting glove flips. The finger on the batting glove flips down. What a huge play right there. Evan Carter flies it to center field. Back goes Dubon to make a leaping, running catch. And the inning ends. It was promising for the Rangers, but they come away empty-handed. Jordan Montgomery for the Rangers. Seagrid short, well positioned to get out to the Dubon flies this one to right field for Dolis Garcia. Also, John, I think, you know, we've been talking about how this Texas bullpen has performed above its head for the whole postseason. Ball four. Walk for Bregman gets Alvarez to the plate here in the sixth. And what a postseason this guy is having as we go down to Ken Rosenthal. Smith stayed hard in with the fastball and came out with the breaking ball right there. One of the rare. Cues this one left side. Young is there. He steps into it. And gets Alvarez. Middle six, seven three. Houston in front. Best of five. Gardner two Pena. Gardner's on number two. Astros have not trailed since the series has shifted up here at Arlington. Chopper to second in Altuve. That is a one, two, three, six for Hunter Brown, who's thrown, scored, thrown three innings of relief. Ball four, leadoff walk. I always felt that when they added him, it was the perfect compliment. There goes a great from first, a swing and a miss. Throw to center field from high. Brady has got himself a stolen base. Fly ball left center field. Carter on the move. He's at the track. He's at the wall. It's gone. Chaz McCormick joins the fun. Launching a two-run home run of his own. And it is nine to three, Houston. They're right at their average in this ballpark. Nine to three, Astros in front. Six Time, I got him. Answer after the Rangers tied it. Pena now gets hit. Softly 
it hit the short. They get out of second and triple double play. 6 4 3 to finish off the top of the seventh. Jazz McCormick, a two run home run. A six run lead and only have to cover nine more outs. To be able to stay away from your top arms. Yeah. Came up last year, hit a home run in his first at bat. Grounds this one to the middle. Backhand out to the jump throw from center field. Picked by Abreu. Gorgeous stuff. Baseball beauty. All I can think of is he's an inspiration. He really is. To, to so many things baseball has to offer. Blazer here. Yeah, proof that uh, big league superstars can come in all shapes and sizes. Jose Altuve, so much fun to watch. 27. Altuve jumps on the first pitch. High fly ball left field and off the very top of the wall. On his way to second, and the beat goes on for Jose Altuve. Now they're going to say that it's a home run. Just over the wall, just over that yellow line. My goodness, what a tear from Altuve. His seventh home run in his last five games in this park. And so Altuve is going to settle for his third hit, his second double. And after an over 17 slide. Five of his last ten. Replay review sponsored by Zoom. After review, the call on the field is overturned. The ball is in play. The runner will be placed at second base. He does the swing and miss a lot. And uh, he's barreling up some pitches right now at the right time. Martin Perez, second game in a row. He's pitched. Roller to third. Young will watch out two days. Bond retired down to the dugout and Tom Verducci. One two from Perez. Got him. And see, that's what it feels like you have to do against the Astros is make perfect pitch after per perfect pitch. Sharply hit pass low into right field. Third run batted in for Alvarez. And the Astros have double digits 10 to 3. Early in the game. Ball four. That's a walk to Abreu. Down to Tom Verducci. Sets a fly ball to the left field corner. Evan Carter moves in to put it away and end the eighth. Another run for the Astros. More long faces for the Rangers. 2-0 is supposed to be coming 2-2 in the ALCS. Tap back to the mound. Maton's got it. See him hustling down there, but Maton gets him. Jumps on the first one and has his second hit of the game. Just how he got his first going after the first pitch. Hey. Down on strike two. Hey. Swing and a miss from Garcia and a scoreless inning for Maton sends us to the nine. In the league last year, massive improvements in his home run. Came on a slider. Wide throw there, but a stretch from low. Off the end of the bat to first. Lowe's got it. Two out. And Montgomery in game one. Retired Altuve all three times. It's a swing game. It turns into a best of three. Seeger gets to that ball from short left field. Heaves it across. And with the catcher running, has time to finish off a tremendous play. Decisions manager have to make an offensive strategy. So if I've got a lead and I can bring my bullpen in and attack with fastballs, last two, nine. That is a backbreaking number. Pena teaching tape field into that ground ball, getting in front of it, getting Garver. Ball, that's it. Walk to Hyde. That's a strikeout and two going in the ninth. Chopper left side. Bregman's got it. And this series is tied at two games apiece. Well, I thought in the beginning this series was going to be a really, really good one. It's been a strange one. It, there's been more lopsided games here than I thought we were going to get.
But the rest of this series is going to be determined by really, really good starting pitcher for the Texas Rangers up until this point.